Then guys, if you're going to find our trigonometric ratios, notice the trigonometric ratios that we talked about over here. We had all the sides of the triangle, right? So over here, we need to find all the sides of the triangle. And we don't know if it's a 30, 69 triangle. We don't know if it's a 45, 45 degree triangle. So we can't assume. We know it's a right triangle, though. So therefore, we can at least apply Pythagorean theorem, right? So we could say you know, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So remember, guys, your hypotenuse is always directly across from your 90 degree angle. So therefore, these are your two legs. Doesn't matter if this is A, that's B, or if this is A, that's B. Just go ahead and choose. Square root of 27 squared is just 27, plus B squared equals 36. Subtract 27, subtract 27. B squared equals 9, square root, square root. B equals plus or minus 3, right? Always have to include plus or minus. Won't you guys agree? Yes. However, in the context of this problem, but I'm going to give you a big wink, the context of this problem, remember how I just said we're going to be doing different problems in different contexts, right? OK. But the context of the problem that we're doing right now, do you just need to open that? You can open it. OK, there you go. In the context of this problem, it doesn't make sense. We don't have any orientation of positive negative, do we? Right? There's no orientation of anything being positive or negative. So in the context of this problem, we're just going to worry about the positive 3. So we're going to go ahead and make that a 3. Now, here is my theta. Now, what I would recommend doing, guys, if you're a little bit rusty on your geometry, I would recommend spending the time, Gabriel, of actually writing in what the adjacent, the hypotenuse, and the opposite are. So the adjacent, remember, is always in between your angle and your 90 degree angle. Always. So we'll label this the adjacent. This, we already said, was the hypotenuse. The opposite is what the angle is projecting to. So that is the opposite. Okay. And now once I have those, all I have to do is remember my trigonometric ratios, which you will need to make sure you have um, remembered or memorized. Okay, So we have our six trigonometric ratios. They're fairly basic. I always like to do the sine, cosine, uh, tangent first, because the reciprocals are just that, the reciprocals. So the sine is opposite over adjacent, which is 3 over 6. Sorry. <laughs> Opposite, let's look at this problem. Opposite of theta is square root of 27 over the hypotenuse, 6. OK? Now, um, mm, I forgot to simplify this. We could actually simplify this down, right? This is actually can be simplified into 3 square root of 3, correct? And I wanted to do that because we could simplify this. Okay. Over here, the cosine of theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is going to be 3 over 6, which reduces down to 1 half. The opposite over the adjacent, tangent, is opposite over adjacent. So that's 3 over radical 3 over 3, which is equal to the square root of 3. Okay. Cosecant is now just the reciprocal of this. So I could write this as 6 over 3 squared of 3. But once you guys agree, it'd be probably easier just to write, write that as the reciprocal of 2 over radical 3. Like that reduces, right? Couldn't you just reciprocate this, the final answer, right? It'd be a little bit easier to reciprocate this and this. Obviously, you could still just divide 6 divided by 2 and get the same answer. Then we want to make sure we remember to rationalize the denominator. So we have 2 radical 3 over 3. For secant, I'm just going to reciprocate 2 over 1, which is just equal to 2. And then cotangent, I'm going to reciprocate. This is really 3 over 1. So why don't we reciprocate this as 1 over the square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator, which we're going to be doing a lot. Square root of 3 over 3. And there's your six trigonometric ratios. Now, was this a 30, 60, 90 triangle? Look at the ratios here, and look at the ratios of one of those triangles, special right triangles. Would you guys agree that the sine opposite over adjacent is the same as that 30, 60, 90 triangle? Right? Yeah? So it's hidden. Oh, cool. 